in your life you are gonna go through a period where you're gonna lose everything you're literally gonna get zeroed out of everything because you found the perfect unicorn you had a, you had a pretty good life right you got a pretty good degree you got a pretty stable safe safe job like we know how that plays out you found your wife you had kids and something is gonna happen the event it's gonna take away everything you have so what do you do that what do you do now to bring you back to that abundance and happiness and fulfillment well there's two things that you can do first you need to hope for the best and second you need to start doing these things losing everything after an unexpected event is way more common than you might think it is especially with the middle-aged guys who are kind of blue red pilled but still blue pilled because they found their perfect wife the one they're cured to vanitis disease they finally found it they got married they had kids and then eventually she cheated on him found out you know how that plays out and then they get divorced the guy lost all the money all the house maybe even the job because she probably accused him of sexual or rape or something like that it's way more common than you think it is forget about everything let's just say you're gonna lose everything in a few years time you're gonna lose your house your job your family your kids your wife everything you just have your clothes on your back and one of your friends says that you can crash at their place now what do you do to bring yourself back to happiness joy fulfillment and abundance this is so surprising no i'm surprised nobody's talking about this one good mental health and two social skills now all the fucking spurgs all the fucking like cringe alpha males who are like oh make money make money yeah lots of money and all the fucking hardcore side hustle guys they're gonna click off this video because they were expecting some bullshit answer but think about it on a deeper level if you got good mental health it doesn't even matter if you got good mental health you're literally happy and excited and joyous to have your life at least and that's gonna help you get back to that level of abundance and fulfillment way faster because when you go to the job and you're happy and the second one is actually good social skills if you have good social skills your friend is gonna beg you to stay at the place they're gonna ask force you to just stay at the place because people love talking to you because you're the only person that listens to them when you go for a job interview you're gonna get the job because you have good social skills instead of the other people who are just busy in the capitalistic materialistic society just trying to make more money i was actually looking online for some answers to this question and nobody is talking about this of course you were not gonna see a guy who loses everything talk about it on facebook or instagram he's not gonna fucking post oh lol just lost everything of course not because he's probably gonna kill himself he is gonna kill himself the answer that i was looking for i was on reddit and stuff and all they mention is so you get a shittiest job and you get another shittiest job and you work full time and you start raking up the money bro you'll probably kill yourself you will probably kill yourself if you've lost imagine if you've lost everything and then you had to work the shittiest job possible you'll probably end up killing yourself what's this mindset of the capitalistic materialistic society we live in oh i lost everything so i need to get the shittiest job and work 60 hours full time you will rather just kill yourself than work some shitty job 60 or 80 hours I know someone might still be watching that and thinking but 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 money you need to get money baby you need money yeah you need yeah dumbass of course you do but in just imagine look at the scenario on a deeper level you've lost everything you have no hope and you have shitty mental health what are you gonna do with the money bitch what the fuck are you gonna do with the money if you don't have good mental health 
you need to make sure you have good mental health hopefully let's say you at this event is gonna happen hopefully you go on buy go and make an investment of like seven bucks on Amazon and buy how to win and friends and influence people and start meditating and gratitude journaling every single day hopefully you're doing this make sure you remember this advice because you're gonna thank me. I know someone might be watching this video and thinking, okay, this sounds interesting, but I don't believe, I don't think it's gonna happen with me. I know someone is watching this and thinking, but trust me, bro, you're not immune to this. You're definitely not immune to this. And it hurts 10 times worse when you don't expect it to happen. All your mental health and social skills are gonna go 100 points down. And I know someone might be watching this and thinking, okay, this does seem like an interesting topic, but I don't think it happens that often. And for that question, let's dive deep into it. The zeroed out event happens because of two things. It usually happens because of overconsumption of drug, alcohol, weed, <laughs> yeah, porn, or video games, because of this. And the second thing, happens because of a woman the second one is more socially acceptable because it's like oh it's women oh you got divorced second one is more socially acceptable but the first one links up with the second one because if you lost women you are gonna end up taking because you're depressed you're gonna end up starting taking alcohol drugs and this is also the fucking not to say hollywood <laughs> fucking fetishization yeah, the Hollywood promotes it too. <laughs> so it's basically a full junction of instant gratification. Another precursion of the instant gratification society we live in. These are the results of that. So I want you to do an actionable step right now. I want you to truthfully like, bro, I'll have so much respect for you if you honestly ask yourself, okay, what is the thing that's actually going to make me do the zero out event like bro if you truthfully answer that and even write down in the comments you I, you have my respect bro for me i don't think it's gonna be drugs i don't think it's ever gonna be drugs i've never really struggled with drugs <laughs> i think it's gonna be women yeah because I kind of did have like the zeroed out events like last year when I lost my job I also got accused of fucking sexual yeah it's women for me I want you to comment down below as well like you know what boys I'm not gonna lie I think it's either gonna be women or the drugs like you have my fucking respect bro if you can comment that I want you to save this video in your private feed or anywhere where you can literally jump back after you lost everything hopefully you don't fucking kill yourself come on bro don't fucking do that don't delete yourself hopefully you'll find this video and it helps you if you want to see more videos from an unconventional small youtuber you can scroll down right now and click on the subscribe button and also turn on the post notification so you don't miss any new upload from me i also provide self-improvement personal coaching which will help you go from a beta <laughs> wanker to alpha fucker and also give you a refund if you feel like it wasn't worth your time take care stay hard